In this video, we're going to see how to set up Xdebug with Docker. And to use that, we're going to use PHPStorm as our remote debugger. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how to configure PHPStorm, and then we'll get into the Docker side. So two steps within PHPStorm. The first is to create a server, PHP debug server, so we can just search for servers up here. Within here, you can create a new server, and I'm just going to call this Docker server. And what we're going to do is set the place where web requests are sent for our HTTP server, for our application. So in my case, that's localhost and port 80, because I'm just going to share port 80 in my containers here so that web requests will be sent to localhost on port 80 in order to reach into my container. So notice that we're not setting up the Xdebug listening here. This is actually the HTTP part, the place where we send requests to our website. Now we need to use path mappings for this. And within our project here, I have an app directory, and in the app directory I have index.php, and I'm actually only going to share the app directory into the container. So here, not in the roots of the project, but in the app directory, I'm going to set the path that will be inside of the container. So var dub dub HTML is where in the container I'm going to share the application files. And those are going to relate to the users developer site Docker workflow xdebug app directory on my local file system. So I'll hit apply and OK. And then the next thing we do is edit configurations here and create a new PHP remote debug portion. I'll just call this Docker. We're going to use the server we just defined, and I'm going to set an IDE key of Docker. And this is going to have to match the IDE key used in the xdebug configuration. So I'll hit apply and OK. And then PHP Storm is all set to accept remote debugging connections. Now, just to show you one other thing, I'll go to preferences here and xdebug. So PHP Storm is going to listen on port 9000 for connections from a remote debugger, and that's what we're going to use in our xdebug configuration. But first, let's create a Docker file which will build an image, and that image will have PHP and xdebug in it, of course. So in the root of our project, I'm going to make a new file. We'll call that Docker file, and I'm just going to paste this in here, and this will be really familiar to you if you have watched my other Docker videos. And here we're just going to install some dependencies, then we'll install PHP. Here we're going to install xdebug. And then the Docker file is going to have two external dependencies. It's going to copy an xdebug to ini file to the correct location for PHP 7.0. And then I'm going to copy start container, a shell script that is going to be responsible for booting up this container. All right, so we have two dependencies there. I'm just going to define those now. So first we're going to create the xdebug ini file. Okay, so we have xdebug, we're going to enable remote debugging, we're going to set port 9000, so we're going to tell it to send connections to a remote debugger listening on port 9000. Now notice that the container is sending a connection somewhere, it's not listening. So remote port here is telling xdebug what port to send debugging connections to. So it's going to be from in the container, reaching out to my host system and sending that debug info where PHP Storm is listening. The IDE key is Docker. That's the same thing we set as IDE session key in the xdebug debug configuration. Remote connect back is zero. This has to be set to zero because otherwise that will override the remote host setting here. What the remote host is, is the IP address of my host machine, my Macintosh, so that xdebug knows where to send debugging information. So what it's going to do is pair the remote host with the remote port to know where to send debugging information. So I need the remote host to be the IP address of my Macintosh that the container can reach. Now to get that on my Mac, I'm just going to run this command, ipconfig get if address n1, and that's just going to give me the IP address here, the 192.168 address that we're going to use as the IP address of my host machine. So let's just set that in here, and we're going to hard code it for now. So the container is going to send debugging information to 192.168.12. This is the IP address of my Macintosh on port 9000. And this is where PHP Storm is going to be listening. Now the second file we defined in my Docker file was that start container bash script. So let's make that as well. So new bash script start container. And I just have to refactor and rename that because I did not say .sh. And all this is going to do is start up a PHP development server, and it's going to listen on all networks on port 80. And we're going to say the directory to search for files for is going to be var.dub.html. So var.dub.html is going to end up being the 
contents of this app directory. So it'll be able to see the index.php file. And I remember this is running inside of the container. So it's going to be listening on port 80 within the container for new network connections, for HTTP connections. Now, the last thing I'm going to do here is actually create a Docker Compose file because I want to use Docker Compose to build and run the image. So we'll make a new file. We'll call it docker-compose.yaml. I'll paste that in, and we'll see that I just defined one service called app. It's going to build. It's going to use the context of the current directory. So it's going to say, find the Docker file from the current directory. The image it builds is going to be named xdebug example latest. The volumes we're going to share here is this app directory to index PHP. So the app directory is going to go to var dub HTML, which is why the start container is listening in that directory for PHP files. And then ports 8080. So 80 on my host machine is going to go into 80 inside of the container where that PHP test server is listening. All right, so we're ready to build that image. Let's head on over here, and I'm just going to run docker compose build. I'm not going to run up yet. I just want this to build that image. So it's using cache for some of these because I have very familiar images that have been run here. But on step seven, it's going to run all these apt get commands. So once this is finished, we'll return here and we'll start using xdebug with this image I just built. All right, so this finished building. Let's go see our images and we'll see a new image here, xdebug example with the latest tag, which is exactly what we told Docker Compose to build. Now I can just run docker compose up d and we'll see this get started. And if I curl localhost, I should get a response. Yep, one plus two equals three, which is the exact result we would expect from our index.php file. Let's start debugging. I'm gonna set a breakpoint here and we'll go to run, debug, and use the one we defined called docker. And now that is listening. So I've head over here and I'll curl localhost. And great, we can see this is successfully debugging. We have our variables defined, our server variables, and all the other good stuff like stepping into and stepping over that we can do with a debugger. I'll just stop, and that will complete the request. Great. And now we have xdebug successfully running within a Docker container. 